You don't want to take that pill. You don't want to take that pill. Most, like all, for, all forms, all forms of hormonal birth control have the ability to prevent implantation. All drugs have side effects. Yeah, we can tell. <laughs> It's time to turn to Jesus. It's time to repent of your sin, put your faith in Jesus so you don't go to hell. Hell, hell is very real. It, it, it's so serious. You're going to burn in agony for all eternity. I'm going to burn in hell anyway. Why would God put me on this earth and want to burn I, I don't know everyone, that. It, why would he create me to be something he doesn't want me to be? The Bible doesn't say that God loves everyone. The Bible doesn't say that. Okay, so why would he create someone who's supposed to worship? The Bible doesn't say that God loves everyone. No, it does say it's, The Bible specifically says that God hates wicked and violent people. Read the read the book of Psalms. Read the book of Psalms. What was that? How are you wicked if you love someone of the same sex? I think I've been over this, right? I know, but how? That doesn't make sense. You it does, it, you, it's wrong. I'm saying because it it's goes against God's created order. He he wants sex for a marriage relationship between a man and a woman. That's what he's created. It's a perversion of what he's created, and it destroys the family. It destroys society. You know, like the God's created order is a family, a man and a woman who create children and foster them, raise them up in the fear and admonition of the Lord so they can obey God. But you're not doing that. You don't have that with two men and two women. That's perversion. It's useless. It's foolish. Yes, that's not a real family, man. I mean, it's, it's, it's a perversion. It just because there's such a thing as wrong love. Oh yeah, man, it's good to see you. Yeah. Maybe I want to go to hell if I, because if I'm gonna go to hell for loving someone, then maybe I want to go to hell. You said God. Rather spending my life with God, who wants to. I'm saying when you when you get to hell, man, you're not gonna want to be burning on fire and never ending. That's crazy. You're not gonna want to be burning on fire, but you're gonna be there anyways. No, you're not. You can repent, man. You can turn to Jesus. Abortions are delicious. Oh my God! You told us. You said all the are going to hell unless they repent before they die. But you yes. also said that you don't know when you're going to die. So right. Right, right. Like if you don't, if you're never born again through the Holy Spirit. If, you said that God doesn't love everyone, but God is love. And you said that in the Bible. The Bible does say that God is love. Right, but, but how does it, God love if He does not love everyone? Like that doesn't even match up. You God, God is all. Is love. God is the definition of love, but God does not love everyone. God put me on this earth. God created me to be who I am, but He doesn't love me. He do, I'm not saying that He doesn't love you. I. I'm but saying, what you're saying is I'm that God does not love everyone, which means God could not love any one of us right now. He could not love you, but you're saying God created each and every one of us, I, put us on this earth. God is love himself, and yet for some reason he doesn't love us. There's some people that he doesn't love. It's true. I mean, uh, he gives he gives grace. To, he gives a general grace to everybody and, and allows that he allows them to live on this planet for a time. So why would I follow Jesus if he doesn't love everyone? Um, because he's God and like you should love God. Well, no, God wants you to love everyone. He commands you to love everyone. Okay, how does he want us to love everyone? But can you love everyone himself? Um, because he's God and he makes the rules. <laughs> no, you can't. You got to follow his rules or you're going to go to hell. And that's why you're going to go to hell if you don't repent. No, you're not. You don't have to. Don't accept that. Let's just say I follow literally everything. But the one thing that I, or the two things that I don't follow is this and then supporting gay people. Am I literally, am I going to hell? Yes. You, you, it's, 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 it's evidence that you're not born again. It's evidence that the Holy Spirit doesn't live inside of you and he hasn't changed your heart. 
How am I getting punished for something that I'm I'm giving love to other people? You're not. You're you're not loving them by not by. You should be warning them about what's going to destroy them. That's what love means. So how can you say what other people are feeling if you don't know what's going on inside their head? How can you say that someone? Not I don't know, I don't know when how you, you can spread like. hate to someone when they're doing the opposite. When they're doing something that's going to destroy themselves, that's going to end them up in hell. Because the Bible says, man. Wait, that's the only people don't believe in God. For the longest time, I believe in God. Christians said that the that. Bible said interracial marriage was wrong, and that everyone who had interracial marriage is going to right. hell. Well, the Bible doesn't. Right? The Bible no. doesn't condemn no. interracial years, marriage. For years, Christians said that the Bible said that interracial marriage is wrong, and now you're trying to. And that's me, wrong. Once again, that gay marriage is wrong. We're basically doing the exact same thing, but instead of grace, we're going well, to judge. Well, like, no. The, well, the, well, the Bible actually says that, like, that homosexuality is wrong, but it doesn't say that interracial marriage is wrong. Where, like I've said, men who practice homosexuality will not inherit the kingdom of God. It's in 1 Corinthians. It's in a list of people who will not inherit the kingdom of God. There's a list of people, and in, in one of those, one of those categories is men who practice homosexuality. Are you recording this? Yes. Posting it? Yep. How yep. My YouTube channel is Matthew Weersima. That's my name. <laughs> yeah, I should. Yeah. Well, that's basically what this is. <laughs> that's basically what this turns into. I, yeah. It's uh, W I E R S E M A. Yeah, man, check it out. There's a lot of good footage on there. A lot of, a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing you. Oh, cool. My mom's like, oh, look at that. Good. Let's go. Good. He's not actually. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Oh, oh no. You have your address? Yep. You. Everybody. Everybody needs to repent. Everybody needs to put their faith in Jesus so that they don't go to hell. He's the one who died for sinners to take their punishment. That's why Jesus was nailed to a cross. And there's 500 different Christian faiths that see things differently. Right. That, 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 doesn't, that doesn't change the truth of the Bible. Your Christianity is probably a product of white Southern Christianity that perpetuates slavery and racism. No. Your Come on, Christianity, man. Which is basically now, now you're just throwing stuff on me. Why are you calling me a racist? But it's it's a practice. So much hatred. So much hatred. We have to go. What time? No, we're no, we're not like. Are we coming back?